Downloading the app every time to just find out whether everything is working properly or not is a tedious process. So you need a more simple, easy and fast method to test the app. The good thing is App Inventor has a solution to this problem. In the header section of App Inventor's website, there are so many drop downs. And the second one from the left hand side is the connect option. There you have got three ways to test the app. One is through AI companion, second is through emulator, and the last one is through USB connection. AI companion is a mobile app. You can download it from Play Store for free. To use it, you need to first select the AI companion option in the website and it will open a pop-up with a QR code. Open the app in your mobile phone and then enter the code either by typing or by scanning the QR code. And voila, your app will open within seconds. The condition for testing the app using the AI companion is that your mobile phone and the computer on which you are using the App Inventor website should be on the same Wi Fi network. Talking about the second method, emulator. If you don't have a mobile phone, then don't worry, you can test it right on the computer using the Android emulator. There is a detailed guide on how to install the emulator on App Inventor's website. I will provide that link to you. Emulator is simply an Android phone used for testing the app on your computer screen. While using an emulator, you need not bother about a mobile phone and the Wi-Fi network. All you need is to just click the emulator option in the connect drop-down and it will open the app within a few seconds. However, it may take more time compared to the AI companion. Now let us talk about the last method of testing. Testing through USB connection. The USB option is pretty much comfortable for testing as it is fast and doesn't require you to add any code. But this method is more complex to set up on a few mobile phones. To use USB option, everyone needs to download both the AI companion and also Android emulator. And after that, you need to enable USB debugging on your device. I would like to point out few of the known issues that you may encounter while setting this testing method. Finding out the USB debugging option on a few mobile phones is a bit tricky. But a quick Google search like how to enable USB debugging on XYZ Mobile will mostly help you. You may also need to install a USB driver on Windows for some mobile phones. App Inventor has created a good documentation to help you. I will provide this link so that you can look into it while setting this testing method.